this lush, leafy garden border is in full shade in my garden. It produces colourful flowers and there is foliage everywhere you look, but it hasn't always been this way. I used to go to garden centres or order plants online. I'd choose anything that I thought looked good, but as I planted it in these shady conditions in my garden, the plants would get weaker and weaker and eventually they would die. But this doesn't have to be the case. After many years of trial and error, I'm gonna share the mistakes that I made to help you perfect planting shade loving plants in your garden. With the right choices and following the steps in this video, you too can create a lush, leafy, colorful, shady garden border. We're gonna cover soil preparation, selecting the right plant for the right place, choosing plants based on their size and shape, and of course, watering and plant care for a shady garden border. Now, one of the very first things that has helped me achieve success when planting in shade is to prepare the soil properly. I enrich the soil in my garden with rich, nutritious, organic material. Things like leaf litter or well-rotted horse manure. Now this is going to mimic the processes that happen in a forest. When the canopy drops its leaves, they land on the floor and slowly rot away and enrich the soil. This enriched soil is going to have two characteristics. First of all, it's going to be nutritious and it's going to encourage healthy leafy growth. But most of all, it's going to help your soil retain water which is going to enable these plants to uptake moisture from either rain or from when you're watering your garden. So often, shady conditions in a garden are also dry, and this is because of a phenomenon called rain shadows. Now, a rain shadow is just an area that is blocked from actually receiving any rainfall. The rain just can't reach the ground. Typically, this occurs underneath the canopy of trees, which act just like an umbrella. And for most of us, one side of our house, away from the prevailing wind direction, will actually be in a rain shadow. By enriching the soil in dry, shady areas, we're going to really help the plants in that area capitalise on any water that's going to land on that space. Now we've all heard the gardening phrase, right plant, right place, and that's never been more true than with shade gardens. When selecting plants for your shady garden, you're gonna to wanna to find plants that thrive in these darker conditions. Things like ferns, hostas, brunera, or asarum, and even shrubs like fatsia are gonna really help you create a lush, leafy, and potentially year-round great-looking garden. But the phrase right plant, right place doesn't just come down to selecting plants that like shade you're going to want to combine shade loving plants in a way that works really, really well. And I would recommend starting with ground cover plants like Asarum or Ivy. Then moving up into shade loving ferns and begonias and eventually using shade loving shrubs with things like fatsias. And this is gonna create height and layers and structure. So you're gonna have a great shade loving garden. And finally, we're gonna talk about maintaining your shade garden. Now we've mentioned that shade plants thrive in moisture. Now that we've enriched the soil, we can mulch around the plants that we've planted. This is gonna help retain water even more and it's gonna help keep that soil temperature cool so it's not gonna dry out fast. Now I would recommend planting really densely like I've done here and this dense foliage cover is going to prevent any sunlight hitting the soil and drying it out and it's going to keep it moist and cool and exactly the sort of conditions that shade loving plants thrive in. I would also recommend combining evergreen shade loving plants with herbaceous shade loving plants like this Adiantum venustum and this Begonia sutherlandii. This just means that no matter what the season is in your garden, you will have shade loving plants to look at and it will look good throughout the year. I have created a list 
of shade-loving plants divided into the areas that they'd best be planted into. And the link for that is in the top corner of this video and in the video description. So feel free to go and check that out and add any plants that you want to to that list to help everybody else in the Grow Paradise community. If you found this video useful, please hit subscribe. It's the easiest way to support the channel and I will see you all in the next video.